one of the ways we do that is partially for our knowledge, um, which sometimes individuals don't understand when they first come in, why are we taking their blood pressure so much? Um, what we do is we take their blood pressure at the beginning, uh, we discuss what that number is, we send them out, we, they do their exercise, they come back, they do their blood pressure again. So that's one way to educate them is to show them through numbers, through, through data, that, you know, look what your blood pressure has done. Even after 10 minutes of, of continuous, moderate exercise, and that's the other word to put out there, it's moderate. There's always, there's always science behind what we're doing. So we're always monitoring their heart rate to make sure they're working properly. We're always taking care of their perceived exertion. I go out there and I just chat with them and they think I'm being polite, which I am because I obviously like to chat, but there's what I'm doing is I'm gauging their perceived exertion without actually saying I'm talking to you now to see how hard you're working because all that's going to do is set off, you know, some anxiety of, am I working too hard? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, maybe, yeah. you know, so it's, it, we're always, we're always trying to show them through, through data, like, hey, my, hey, I walked this distance or sorry this time and this speed last week and my heart rate was three beats higher why is it lower and they're almost panicking about that we're like no that's fantastic that's showing you that you're being conditioned same with your blood pressure it's lower after exercise and we explain vasodilation and vasoconstriction and how we want the the arteries and the blood vessels to become elastic and not like that old rotten garden hose that if you move it it's going to crack and, and break 